into this February 2023 nine star key astrology report. The earth mountain star will be ruling the month of February. And I am so excited about February and the nine star key astrology because we have some good productive energy coming in this month that we haven't seen in years it feels like and it is going to bring us love harmony and prosperity what everyone wants when i'm doing astrology chart readings everyone wants love and abundance and this month this february 2023 holds the promise of love and abundance for us all. So I say, bring it on. I have, I love the good news report. This is going to be the good news report. And I'm going to separate out the I Ching reading. I normally do the nine star key combined with I Ching, but I'm sort of reworking some things. And I thought maybe it would simplify everything if I just had the I Ching as a separate report, but You'll definitely want to check out this I Ching number 11. These are my I Ching six. So I always read an I Ching for every month of the nine star key. And this month we have 11 Tai, which means harmony and the great mountain. And it really signifies some good things to come. Yes. Thank you. I'm so glad. And there's just so much good news for a change this month. And I just ordered a bunch of Bulgarian rose essential oil. And I'm just, I'm wearing some rose oil right now. And I wish this was Smell-O-Vision. I wish you could smell this because I always love to order a lot of rose oil for my Valentine's massages. And rose has the highest frequency of any essential oil its frequency is 320 hertz and it stimulates feelings of joy love and abundance and it's really good for overcoming seasonal affect depression which some of us have this year in this polar vortex i'm inside again because it's freezing cold outside and I just love to smell this rose oil and ylang ylang oils and soak in it and just breathe in the hope for spring. And that is what the feeling of this nine star key, this eight earth mountain star is bringing us just a hope for the future, joy, abundance, and love. And if you are an eight, earth mountain star or you know an eight earth mountain star they are some of the most comforting people on the planet to be with they will always put you at ease and make you laugh and bring you joy so it's no wonder this is such a romantic month to just enjoy your loved ones enjoy your prosperity really take some time this month to really cherish the ones you love and we just put out this beautiful reiki for love music healing music soundscape and we've been doing this where i will infuse master reiki symbols into these binaural beats to create these healing music soundscapes that i use personally for my own massage and reiki sessions you can also use it for meditation or to sleep. I love to sleep with binaural beats. I just wake up so refreshed. And this particular Reiki for Love, I just uploaded to the channel. It has the power of love, the highest energetic vibration, 528 hertz binaural beats. And there is a sound of a heartbeat running through this music that is so healing and it just resonates with your heart and when you get into your heart space and you get into that higher love vibration i tell you you can manifest just like that just effortlessly when you're in that high vibration so give it a listen tell me what you think and i have my little lunar new year's lamp and my lunar new year's chrysanthemums because we just had 
the Lunar New Year of the Water Rabbit. And in the Nine Star Key, February 4th, every year, no matter what, like in the Lunar New Year, it has to do with the moon, but in Nine Star Key, it's always on February 4th when we enter into this new Nine Star Key year. And so on February 4th, we entered the four, the tree that bends in the wind. And this whole 2023 year will be ruled by this wood tree star that is like the willow tree or bamboo. We will all be going through growth and change. And if this will be a more gentle time of change than 2022 was very abrupt change. This is a calmer energy, which I really enjoy. And we will all be adapting to our ever changing world, but in a more peaceful way, we are all going to be learning so much in 2023. And if you know any four wood stars or you are a four wood star, they love to learn. So if you are new here and you're just learning the nine star key, I want to let you know that this is an Eastern astrology based on the five element system that is used in traditional Chinese medicine, acupuncture, and feng shui. And we are all born of a certain star that relates to the five elements that are water, wood, fire, earth, and metal. And there is a chart in the beginning of this and also down below in the descriptions. You, if you don't already know your star, you can find your star in the chart and then you can follow along. At the end of this reading, I'm going to do each of the stars. I'm going to tell you what February looks like for you personally. And if you know what star you are, leave it in the comments below and I will respond with an intuitive reading just for you. And every month in the nine star key, we go through another star element energetically that also corresponds and relates to that four wood star year that we're in. And what I love about the nine star key, it's like spirals within spirals within spirals. I just love this nature-based system so much because every month you will be personally going through your own element along with the main element of your year and you can find your 2023 element year listed down below in the descriptions. And if you haven't already watched my Lunar New Year of the Rabbit report for the energy of the entire year, that four wood star, that'll be down in the description as well. And um, when you learn how to align with the energy of this five element system, you can really begin to manifest everything you've been trying to manifest. And it can just happen in this effortless way. You manifest through alignment instead of struggling. And when you simply align with the energy, the natural forces, the natural growth forces of these five elements, they want to support you. They want to give you what you want. And people tell me all the time how lucky I am because I do manifest really amazing things, but it's not luck. I always say it's not luck, it's alignment. And it's this nine star key, studying this for over a decade now, this has helped me to align with everything I want and this is why I want to teach you how to do this too. When you learn and master this nine star key system, you will find that you are just naturally energetically aligning to the things you want to bring into your life. And it takes a little while to figure out, not going to lie. It took me about a year to kind of really figure out the whole study. Um, but once you do, it will just start clicking and you will be amazed how quickly things are coming to you. And this February 2023 is an eight earth star, the eight earth mountain star within a four 
tree that bends in the wind year, which is in a greater two earth, nine year cycle, two earth soil within a nine fire, 81 year cycle. So the cycle goes from the tree to fire and wood feeds fire, right? When you light wood on fire, it's feeding the fire. So this month has a very productive, progressive, moving forward kind of energy. And we can finally get things done this month. And of course, in the Western astrology, all planets are moving direct now. So the West meets East, East meets West. They're both saying the same thing. It's time to move forward. It's time to get things done. And then the fire feeds Earth because the nine fire is going into that two earth soil and the eight earth mountain star. So we can just accomplish so much more this month with this very supportive energy, especially if you are a fire star, a wood star, or an earth star. And this month, February, holds the key of revolution, change, big opportunities and brand new directions that just unfold effortlessly. And we are collectively feeling a little bit ambiguous about what changes we should be making now. So really take some time out in February to do the soul searching this month and make sure you are indeed heading in the right direction because now we're going to go full force ahead but if you're going in the wrong direction it's not going to help so as you forge your new path ahead in 2023 make sure you're on the right path take the time look before you leap and be sure to listen to your higher mind to spirit to the universe, to whatever you call upon when you want to forge a new way, whatever you use. I love this daily prayer from the Course of Miracles that says, where would you have me go? What would you have me do? And what would you have me say and to whom? If you start your morning out with just a quiet meditation every day this month, where you just spend some time asking your higher mind, asking spirit, asking the universe, where do you want me to go? Who do you want me to talk to? What would you have me do? You will be amazed. I've been doing this for years and it's, sometimes surprises you. It's like, why does spirit want me to call that person? I don't think that person's going to be pivotal for my business. And then they are. And so really taking the time to listen and receive the higher guidance as you forge a new path ahead before you go rushing off in all directions every morning. Just take some time this month to figure out what is the best use of your time here on earth, right here, right now? And be open to course corrections coming in from higher beings. And there might just be something even better waiting right around the corner for you that you, that corner that you hadn't thought of taking. But if you take even 15 minutes a day at the start of your day to just meditate, to listen, to ask the higher forces for guidance, you might find a brand new way that really surprises and delights you and brings you gifts you could have never imagined. It could be even better than you thought. So be sure to take that time out and four wood trees, the, the four wood tree that is ruling the whole year for all of us loves to explore and learn and discover. So really come to your days like a child full of wonder 
and just discovering the new opportunities, the new directions that are calling you now and new ways of being, perhaps new ways of doing things and really take some time out this February to recalibrate to the new energy that is coming in this higher love vibration. And I'm telling you, listening to that Reiki for love will connect you to these higher vibrational energies that are coming in that want you to reevaluate your goals, your plans, and your course of action to make sure you're doing the highest vibrational path ahead. And look at what is working in your life and what is not. Check your profit and loss. I have owned my own business now for 23 years. And every year you got to look at that profit and loss and say, where are you spending your time and what is paying off and what is selling and what is not? And really allow some time and space this month to make little changes in your routine, little changes in your business, little changes in the ways that you're doing things so that you can prosper even greater and making sure to leave in some time and energy to spend with those you love because there's such a wonderful love vibration. It's so perfect for Valentine's Day, but we do have some high vibrational love energy coming in that wants us to take some time for that too. And now I'm just going to read each of the stars your own personal reading. And I'm gonna have my husband put in some B-roll of some beautiful uplifting flowers. You know flowers, I have my flowers here. These beautiful star lilies and my chrysanthemums, which is what you want for Lunar New Year. And flowers, just like the rose oil is so uplifting. And in the, we're still in this dark of the winter time. If you can buy yourself some flowers, and have them in your home just to uplift that energy. So we're gonna infuse this nine star key reading with some flowers to uplift your energy this February. And I am going to start the mini readings with the one water star. And this is a good month for you to start a gratitude journal and focus on all that you do have and the abundance that surrounds you because you will manifest more this year by appreciating everyone and everything in your life and avoid focusing on what you don't have now. This is a time to clean up your inner stories, to tell a better story and use positive affirmations to create your new reality going forward. To Earth Star, you align so well with this Earth Mountain Month. Use this time to make progress behind the scenes. You have so much energy to get all your tasks completed, like your taxes, your financial planning, cleaning up your house, getting organized, and getting yourself ready to be ready. Because March, you will be going on an adventure, and now is your time to plan and pack for everything ahead of you. Three tree stars. You are in a month of great expansion in your work, and maybe even your love life. You have so much bright light energy. You're like a warm bonfire on a cold night and everyone is drawn to you now. And it can be overwhelming that everyone wants your time, your energy and your light. But this is your moment. You're on fire this month and you can get it all done. So motivate yourself get to work, make it all happen, and then you can rest in March. For Tree Star, you're in that center position now and it can already feel like so many people are depending on you. Take some time out for self-care this month. Get a massage, 
Do the self Reiki, rest and eat nourishing foods. You may be feeling anxious about the changes that are coming in so fast, but just surrender and trust the process. Something powerful is happening for you now. And I'd love to know if you're feeling your superpowers kicking in. Five Earth Star. You've got your work cut out for you this month and it can feel overwhelming now. Write out your to-do list and try to figure out what is the most important thing to accomplish because you might not be able to get it all done. But next month, you will have even more energy to complete everything. So see if you can wait until then for the really big tasks you need to accomplish. Little by little, one thing at a time, you are making progress. Six metal star, your energy returns this month and you're ready to grow forth on your biggest goals now. You have the momentum pushing you forward and this is your time to really go for it. Remember to take time out to appreciate all the little things that bring you joy and spend time with your loved ones out in nature, or maybe a special Valentine's dinner out. Seven metal stars. This is a good month to reevaluate your work life and you will be able to make substantial improvements in the ways you are working. Try working smarter, not harder. And any time you spend figuring it all out behind the scenes will pay off in the months to come as your business begins to ramp up. Eight, Mountain Star. You're in the center of it all this month and it can feel like everyone needs something from you now. This is a really fertile time to plant your seeds of intention in the moist spring soil. Whatever you focus on now will grow deep roots and become something great. So be sure to take a little time out with your journal to decide what you want to sprout and grow in 2023 and what new directions do you want to grow in. Nine fire stars. Time for soul searching to dream your next dream into being, to figure out what you want to do next in life. And you might feel worried about the future now, not knowing where you're going yet. Your mantra this month is just relax and receive. Good things are coming to you this month and you don't always have to go after it or work so hard. Sometimes you can just allow the abundance to flow to you. So relax and receive. Well, thank you so much for watching and be sure to tune in for my I Ching report and I will see you in March.